Oh, flag up, flag up, flag up. Flag up, flag up, flag up. It's like ice fishing. Oh, here we go. We're going. We're going. What we got? Oh, fish on. Welcome back to another episode of RJC Outdoors. Doing the intro from in my cab of my truck because it is a little windy out there um, on the lake. But I will be getting out on the lake with the kayak. And today we're doing something a little different. Um, we are going bait fishing, um, but we're doing it in a different style. And that is going to be targeting these baits using ice fishing gear. Um, we got an ice fishing rod and, well, what do you get when you mix a five gallon bucket lid, some twist ties, some zip ties, not twist ties, zip ties, and a pool noodle. Oh, and a tip up, well, you get a floating tip up. So we're gonna be targeting some baits using this tip up and my ice fishing rod to see what we get for bait for cat fishing for this next weekend, which is in uh, three days, two days, two days. So stick around and hang tuned with me because uh, I have a feeling that we're gonna get on some fish and it's gonna be pretty fun doing it. So yeah, hang tuned or whatever. So I just did a whole bunch of talking to the camera and it was off, but I'm using a tungsten jig head not sure what company makes that tungsten that jig head but i got it tipped with a wax worm to start things off and i'm just going to be vertical jigging right next to me here got the anchor down it is six foot here six six and a half we're looking for any kind of bait we could use legally uh, for cat fishing this weekend there's a buoy just out behind me here. I'm going to eventually work a little closer to that. I know there are some big hybrids, some pumpkin seeds, and some bluegills that hang around those rocks over there. So that's the next stop. And then uh, from there, we'll just play around in this little cove. Uh, start on that side. Wind's blowing this way. So we'll start on that side, throw the tip up out with a worm or a wax worm. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it while we're vertical jigging. We won't have an anchor down at that point. We'll just kind of keep our eye on that tip up, uh, waiting for the flag to go off, just like ice fishing. As Soon as it goes off, we'll paddle as fast as we can over to it and uh, set the hook. Hopefully bring in a nice monster bait to use this weekend. Oh, there's something. This guy hit. There it is. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, that's what we're here for. Oh, nice, nice gill. It's like a not eight inch, probably eight inch gill. That's exactly what we're here for. If we can get about five of those in the pail. I'd be quite all right with that. Yeah. Awesome. On the board with a blue gal. Just a regular minnow bucket. Now with bullhead, you could fit 15 bullheads in here and they stay good and lively. Um, I'll probably put about 10 sunfish, you know, whatever, 10 fish bullheads mixed with sunfish and then I'll take a trip back to the truck. Not going over my limit, of course. Take a load of the truck and then come back out and keep catching them. All right, we'll catch one more from here and then we'll move over by the, uh, the buoy over there. Maybe we can nab off a few uh, pumpkin seeds and some hybrids. Oh, there goes one right there. I just missed a bite. Another one. 
there it is. <laughs> I saw that one show up on my uh, my fish finder. Oh, they're, they're so squirrely, so squirrely. Another nice gill, about that same size, eight, eight and a half. Uh, perfect flathead bait, perfect flathead bait. So we'll get that one in the pail too. I can't wait to get this floating tip up out. With how uh, aggressive these fish are already, it shouldn't be an issue getting a, you know, at least one to go on that tip up. Over here by the uh, buoy now. See if we could pick a few of these off quick before we go have some fun with that tip up. There he is. <laughs> oh, pumpkin seed. A nice pumpkin seed too. Oh my gosh. No, that is a hybrid or a freaking state record orange spotted. That thing is massive. If that's an orange spotted, he just spit the hook for me. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. I'm pretty sure this is a hybrid though. Yeah, it looks like a gill, orange spotted, hybrid. Nice fish right there. Is that a thumbnail? Here, let's do a thumbnail real quick. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly? Yeah? Alright, let's catch one more of these and then go use this because I'm pretty excited for that. Alright, that is a nice bait. Flatheads don't eat it. I'm going to eat it. Oh. There it is. Oh my gosh. Fighter. Fighter. So much fun on these ice rods. Oh my gosh. Oh. Another nice. Um, that's a pumpkin seed. That's an actual pumpkin seed. Beautiful bait. That's a bull. That's a bull pumpkin seed right there. Yeah, he's he's gonna be bait or dinner. Bait or dinner. That's the last one I'm gonna catch with that ice reel, you guys. Let's go get that tip up out. I'm freaking excited about that. So I'm kayaking the line that my tip up should be taking that way um, as far as where the wind's going to blow it. I'm uh, just making sure I know what the depth is going to be so it's not going to get snagged up on bottom when just floating, floating that way and uh, it's going to set the flag off if it hits bottom probably. So just making sure I know the depth, the the minimum depth depth that I'm going to be setting this uh, tip up at. And that depth so far has been five and a half foot. Um, and this line that I've taken has gotten up to seven and a half foot. So hopefully some fish, and that's the majority, seven and a half foot is the majority. Hopefully some fish are hanging around that area and want to bite it around that. I'm going to set it at like just a, a hair over five foot deep so it doesn't snag up on the bottom. But I think we're going to start right here. Here we go. Nothing can uh, hold back from eating. Frickin' night crawler. We're getting that down there. get it set and forget about it have it on a light setting so something should trigger it hoping for a bullhead on there something that will actually set that thing off I might actually drop anchor just behind it over there and just keep an eye on it catch up to it before it gets to the buoy over here and uh, yeah, do a reset on it until we catch one. 
the sun went bye-bye and the clouds are saying hello so hopefully that uh, doesn't affect what I've already caught you know if the fish are biting hopefully these clouds don't affect it something took something took my bacon something took my bacon we're gonna paddle up further get this reset one last time and if nothing after uh, that I guess you probably won't be seeing this video but on this attempt here if we get something that's probably why you're seeing this video so <laughs> yes yes you guys are seeing this right now so I must have caught one awesome that's freaking awesome all right let's concentrate on resetting this because you guys are seeing this video so i must have caught one however i do it whatever you know amount of time i take to set this tip up i caught it because you guys are watching this video right now okay worm throwing another crawler on there we're chucking it out there just set it and forget it well not fully not fully forget it we'll be just right over here watching it go something trigger it right now something smoke it do it right now do it Wind has died down quite a bit, so that tip up isn't moving very fast, which is okay with me. This final reset should, uh... Whoa! No way! My cousin's here. My cousin's here on a kayak. Oh, hi, Brady! Hello! Brady's just right over here. Dude, this tip up, it went off twice. Um, and one of them was right after I set it. My GoPro was malfunctioning, so I had to, it was actually clips. I had to delete clips. So I've deleted the clips and we're ready for, uh, I just reset it. We're ready for some action, hopefully. I'm ready to see it. What do you got on there? Um, that is just a hook with a worm. Okay, nice. <laughs> right? I'm like, I just want to get something to go on it. Let me show you guys my cousin. He's, you know, I don't want to be lying to you guys, so there he is. Howdy. That's my cousin. I'm his cousin. With Miller Time Angling. I mean, he is Miller Time Angling. On the YouTubes. Probably this platform that you're seeing this video on right now. Unless if I've switched to like Twitch or something. Which I doubt I have. I'm not making money on YouTube, so. It's all for the fun of it. We're anchored down. We're ready to vertical jig for some more big baits. Oh, look at the size of that one. Nice, Bray. Bray instantly starts catching them. I've caught a few off camera, you guys. I just don't want to bore you with a whole bunch of um, the same bait coming out of the water because they're all healthy. They're all nice eaters. Oh, flag up, flag up, flag up, flag up, flag up, flag up. Quite the process now that I'm anchored down, but we're going to move as fast as possible. It's like ice fishing. Oh, here we go. We're going. We're going. Okay, the thing is not spinning. It's not spinning. For right now, it's not spinning. Oh, 
What do we got? What do we got? Oh, fish on. Fish on. Bullhead. Bullhead. <laughs> oh, that's a tangled bullhead. So that's why it's a little tougher. I'm gonna have to get this down a little better. That is a tangle that I'll probably have to cut now. Uh, a bullhead on the tip up. And that's bait. That is bait. He swallowed the hook, so I'm just gonna give him a kiss. Snip that line. Look at that. On the tip up. We did it. That's a video, folks. That's a freaking video. Put them in the bucket. That's a video. Want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode where uh, we caught some fish using ice gear. And we'll see you guys on the next one.